welcome to another video so today we are gonna have planet hurt let's see how it's gonna be anyway so far i'm happy with what we had so far so as you can see we had the moon and here you can find the the link uh, for the video as always then we had the wonderful sun the joyful sun full of joy that was the idea again video over there then we had mercury that was fun kind of metallic dark <laughs> mercury and last time we did planet venus that i like so much she's like on flame basically <laughs> now it's time to do planet earth uh, i had some idea but i wasn't sure exactly what to do for today so wish me luck and let's see how it's gonna turn out so let's start with the base with the background we are, again we are gonna have a, a night uh, universe sky looking background so let's start with that that that's the simple uh, things <laughs> to start a page so without further ado let's go to the mat all right so we start the background here with uh, again as always some dark uh, sky um, this time i'm just putting uh, some uh, stroke there for uh, from uh, blue color tal talo talo blue uh, and then also some purple brilliant purple here and there and then just to have a base as always and then on top of that uh, i'm gonna put the lamp black uh, kind of with a kind of medium uh, amount of water those are all acrylic paints and this time the black uh, as you see i want to have always a direction of the stroke i think this is what they make the page more uh, more nice uh, to to see as a background so this time we're gonna go on diagonal shape so we are gonna just uh, do the stroke in the same time and just having two um just two uh coat let's say of uh, of the background of, uh, of black and then on top of that I was just putting uh, with a lot of water just uh, adding a little bit more uh, purple just to add uh, that uh, kind of look and then adding a lot of star as always with splash with again a platinum, uh, titanium, titanium, titanium white a lot of splash and I'm gonna add also some little uh, um, shooting star and that's very easy to do because I'm just gonna do a li li literally a dot with the with the brush and then uh, just uh, uh, have the stroke going on one direction. That's it. And that's that basically what is gonna give the look of uh, uh, the tail of the shooting star. That's the background. So let's go back for the me of the past <laughs> from the me of the past. All right, first up, oops, oh my gosh, I'm falling down, <laughs> okay. All right, first up, first step done, so we have the background, that's the easy part as always, and I like it so much, we have that little purple area here that I like it a lot, and the blue faded here and there, and a lot, a lot, a lot of star. Now time to, now is the difficult part as always, <laughs> find planet Earth, I think, I found the person, the page from the magazine that we are gonna use. I had my doubt. I, I, I had a, a first idea with a lady, I don't know, with a lot of air floating around and maybe on the air having a, really a sky, clouds and stuff like that and then on the body print hurt. But then I say, I was thinking, I think we need instead a pregnant woman. And planet Earth is really the baby, <laughs> like the humanity inside. So I, I was looking for a, a lady, um, a pregnant lady on uh, the magazine stash that I have, but I didn't find much. So I think we are need we need to customize a little bit. But let's see, let's see. Let's go back to the mat. Let's um, this one, I let this one dry and we start with the uh, cutout and the magazine, uh, the focal point. See you in a bit. All right, so I decided to use her because she, I like that she is kind of looking on one side and she, she is kind of on a profile uh, place. And as you see, when I cut it out, I decided to just add um, a little circle, let's say, on the belly, so to simulate again the uh, pregnancy of, 
however and that was the idea how we will custom uh, we will uh, fabricate let's say the idea that i had uh, that i was talking about in the beginning so now i'm decided to have the top part of her so the the head the head and the hair all in white so i'm just gonna use uh, my usual technique so it's still uh, acrylic paint with uh, um, just a flat uh, brush not with not too much uh, color uh, still faded with a lot of water at least for the first layer and just apply everywhere on her face try in this this time i was trying to avoid the eyes but anyway it doesn't matter i mean maybe I, I i i could have avoid also the mouth maybe that would be much better so i will have this first part in white and the rest of her body is gonna be in blue and brownish so in this way we will have kind of still i mean the color of planet art basically um, and uh, the white uh, it will symbolize the the north pole at least that was the idea <laughs> i know it's maybe extreme anyway i was kind of putting the white there because i thought it was better instead to have her face in blue so that's why basically i just try to compromise a little bit and then for her body i was telling you so i'm using uh, blue this one is cerulean blue just first coat first base just to uh, start putting something uh, uh, on top of her and then i will do uh, kind of two coats more or less uh, in some area maybe also three so in this way i really want to remove uh, like the letters that uh, you see on the side of her uh, or uh, really the the, the bra and the lingerie that she is wearing on this way really i want to have just the body basically the shape of the body with not details at all so i'm just going uh, on top of those area um, multiple times just to cover that uh, shape that, that she had i mean the dress that she has uh, on, on the magazine page and the letters for uh, for the commercial because that was a commercial basically a commercial page and so i, I already like uh, that tone that blue because this blue i like the cerulean blue but the fact that she is uh, also uh, she has a light skin color or mixed with the with the blue it's kind of giving a um, kind of greenish look again in, we need to simulate basically the water and that's uh, i like in the end how let's say how the color mixed together even if it was not on purpose i mean i just like the blue i said okay this is the blue that we are gonna use and now off camera i just forgot to click recording um, i just uh, add a little stripe on the side on the on the right side of her with uh, in black and that will simulate basically the night sky i mean the night um, yeah I mean, on one side there is, uh, she will uh, be face the, the sun and the other side will be basically the night uh, part. <laughs> Again, in my imagination, I mean, stay with me, <laughs> follow me. And then I'm just adding a little line, nothing, uh, detail, just to simulate the, the, really the, the lens and i'm just using uh, uh, burnt sienna and then also a little bit of bronze just to give some kind of sparkle uh, and that's basically what i'm using uh, on her body and again i'm not precise at all i'm just adding a few stripes here and there just following more or less the shape of her body that's it and it doesn't matter i mean it doesn't we don't have to be precise i don't want to have all the continents there uh, it's fine it's and good enough let's say let's stay with good enough then when everything is dry, with the, again with the bronze, uh, I'm just focusing to adding some uh, splash only on the dark uh, part of her body, again to simulate the, um, the sparkle, let's say, of the lights during the, the night sky. Uh, and uh, I'm just going also with the, uh, also a, a little dot to be even more precise. And then I decided to have even more to add even more white on her hair. And we will, this is again, this is still just the first layer. So it's normal that it is not so uh, appealing, let's say how it should be, but that's fine. This is still the first layer. We still have a lot to do on top of there. Uh, but the important is really to go, uh, um, to, to go with a lot of water. I mean, and not, uh, not too much uh, um, color on her face because otherwise it will result patchy. It's still a little bit patchy. I mean, I could have been even more less, let's say, less heavy with the color, but uh, I'm kind of fine. As you can see, it's more on the right side of her face that is a bit patchy. Anyway, 
After that everything is dry and I'm gonna glue everything on the background uh, with the Liquitex matte medium and I decided to put her on the uh, left side of the page and then on the right we are gonna add the quote. That's it, it's not so difficult this one to be honest it didn't took uh, too much time this project at all and uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. So this is basically the first base where we are going to start to add a lot of details uh, in Amit while this one is going to dry I'm just going to check do a little check in with you from the me of the uh, past you know I'm the one from the future <laughs> kind of talking to you with a voiceover but we have the I'm just uh, give the words uh, yes to the me of the past Right, first and second part done, so we have a lady, we have part her, now we need to add all the detail to make her a bit sparkle and add the quote in the end. We are close. I think I liked the fact that she's uh, pregnant. I, I still need to, uh, um, what I want to do now, I want to do adjust a little bit the air, maybe uh, put some mascara or a lipstick or something, because this is basically the... Um, the North Pole, let's say. So this is the ice part of planet Earth and that's the rest of planet Earth. And the dark side of planet Earth is where it's, it's, not, facing, uh, the, it's not facing the sun, so it's on the night. So this part is night, this part is uh, uh, morning. So that's the why we have this black here. But I want to put some clouds. Yeah, only on the blue part. Yes, I will not touch the, the black one. Just only on the blue part, I want to put some clouds. So we adjust the, the face and then we do the quote. That's a plan. That's a good plan. Let's start and see why, where we're going to go. All right, we are going to start directly with the quote just because I wanted to fill in the right part of these pages to see even how it turned out the all overall page. And I'm using basically just my Posca pen, just adding a big in big letter uh, the planet name because you see that uh, in, in every other project I'm, I'm adding the, the, the planet name actually only on the sun and the moon I didn't add. I think I need to add later on maybe. And so uh, in this case uh, I'm just gonna write hurt. Sorry for pronunciation. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm completely aware that I'm pronounced planet earth wrong every time my son is correcting me every time <laughs> i'm so sorry anyway it's impossible for me so it's really i will say in italian maybe okay pianeta terra let's say does not belong to us we belong to her to pianeta terra <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> so that was a kind of small quote just to say that uh, we are part of the planet and that's why i mean it's again everything is combined with the figure the, with the figure that we have I mean because I decided to have this pregnant lady and we are part of her basically that's again that's the idea that was in my mind and this is a simple quote and I already just uh, just add on on the right part of the page and then I decided to add some additional detail. This is the detail part. I'm just adding a, a few more uh, Posca, uh, with the Posca pen, with the Posca marker in white, a few more lines to again give more volume and movement to the air. So just some lines. Usually for the uh, air it's better to start from the top of the head than just with the same line, just every one line starting from the top of the head going to the bottom not starting in the middle but sometimes I, I know that I'm not following my own rule uh, but it's still fine I mean it's still creating movement but be aware of that I mean and this is a rule that I learned from uh, Karen uh, uh, Campbell she's another youtuber that uh, she's doing faces all the time and I like that uh, kind of lot, little part of the air just going on her shoulder so I really like that part then I'm just adding a few other details on the brows and just a little line on the eyes just to kind of give, make it alive, let's say. And then adding the mascara, as I was saying, and for this one I'm just using my bokeh uh, MAC uh, pen in uh, black. As always, this is, I mean, uh, it's, it's the best, I think, that uh, marker that I have so far. And uh, then after that, uh, I decided to add also uh, the, um, some clouds, as I was saying. For the clouds, I'm using the technique of the, the Willingham's uh, I was showing uh, on the you on, during Venus. 
and just adding a little uh, color acrylic paint with the, the um, baby wipe basically and just smoosh on, on the page and then after that uh, off camera I added also the moon so she's kind of fa moving her face away and looking at the moon and the moon is kind of orbiting <laughs> around her face there you can see I like the idea anyway and that's our page for today I'll let you talk with me of the present huh? again all right all done we finally have our super dirt i i like it a lot to be honest uh, it's it, she's weird but uh, she, she looks like a, a space uh, i don't know uh, an astronaut or a person coming from the future that was not the thing that i didn't mind but i like that she i i, I make her pregnant so then we are like uh, we as a human we are inside her womb so we are we are there and the quote was, I think, appropriate. So, like, art hurt. Uh, I will never be able to say correct. My uh, my son uh, is always correcting me. So, hurt, I think, <laughs> does not belong to us. We belong to hurt. Anyway, I will put maybe the sound of uh, my son saying planet hurt correctly. <laughs> okay, anyway, are you ready for the final reveal? Thanks a lot for watching. See you. Bye. There it is! Whoa! I like that I made also the moon over there. Yeah. Love it! Ciao ciao! Pianeta Terra. No, you have to actually say Earth. Pianeta. No, no, say Earth. Earth. No. <laughs> earth, 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 earth. Oh, earth. No. <laughs> <laughs>